Hi you guys and welcome back to the Jacob Hexa channel. Today we're going to be working on this Mary and the Witch's flower wig, so let's get right into it. I'm starting with an auburn wig that is pretty long. Even though we don't need it to be that long, you want to have as much length to work with as possible. We're going to go ahead and section that out into four sections like so. Now I'm just cutting down our sections to a more workable length. One of the most important parts of this wig styling is teasing. In order to tease, you're going to need either a teasing comb or brush, and you're going to have to take the ponytails section by section to build volume. As you can see, I've gone ahead and sectioned off a bit of unteased hair at the top of the ponytail in order to cover all the crazy frizzy parts. Now this part is when it got a little bit tricky. Now that we have most of the volume built up, since Mary has kind of wild hair, I didn't do any specific like symmetrical look to the spikes, I just started kind of taking tufts of the teased hair and just spiking it. Be sure to add a bit of gel to the ends of all your spikes. Now that we've finished the ponytails, we're going to go ahead and start working on the bangs. I've trimmed down the bangs even a little bit more, even though they're going to be much shorter than this length, just so that I have enough length to work with to make the kind of spikes that I would like. I put the bangs in curlers just to give it an extra bit of volume and definition. Unlike the ponytails, the bangs do have a certain pattern that you need to follow. I took reference images and went ahead and sectioned off the bangs appropriately. After sectioning off the bangs, you're going to go ahead and work them the same way that we work the spikes for the hair. Make sure to use the spray and hair dry method in order to keep them firm in place.
This razor comb comes in handy whenever I need to take away the choppiness of hair. A great way to elevate the overall look of this wig is to make sure you get all the little random tufts of hair she has sticking up. That way you get a really true to character look. All right, and after you finish everything, make sure you give it a good couple thin layers of hairspray to make sure everything stays in place. All right, and this is the finished wig. Now don't be like me and make the back all separated funky. I am gonna edit that on Instagram, so don't clock me. <laughs> All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you are at all interested in how I made this broom, I do have the video up on this channel. Don't be afraid to give your boy some clout by hitting the subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the notification bell too so you can be updated every time I post. I'm really aiming to be more consistent this year, but I can't make any promises since I don't have any clout, so I'm not really making any money off this. But I will try my best for those of you who do enjoy my content. Anyways, thank you guys so much. Have a great rest of your day. Ja matinee.